All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got my boy Waylon here with me, and we're going to see if we can put together this digital clock. All right, we're going to set up this DeWalt fan to just gently pull air away from us so that we don't get smoke in our eyes. I'm just going to put it on the lowest setting. And as you can see, we have some paper instructions here that we're going to follow. And then there's also some instructions you can get online that have illustrations on it to help. And we'll be referencing those as we go. So we have our soldering iron here. Um, I have a bigger Milwaukee one that I like to use, but since this one, we're going to be soldering component level stuff. I figured we'd use this more precision one. Step one says that we need to install five 10 kilo ohm metal film resistors and we're going to start on this side. The first one goes to R13 and one, two, three, four, five. So here's our five resistors. So we're just going to pull it out, bend it over. There's R13. We'll go ahead and install all five of these real quick and then we'll solder them in. Okay, that's what it should look like, and then we're going to flip it over, we're going to solder it. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Okay, the next step is to install one 20 kilo ohm metal film resistor at R14, but I don't know which one that is, so we're going to ohm this out real quick. That's 19.6 kilo ohms, so that's going to be it. And that's going to go at R14. Alright, you watch me do the first one. So watch, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold the metal tip of this right here on the edge and then you're going to put this like right on, you see the circle? Mm -hmm. You're going to like try to touch it there. And just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start clipping some of these off right next to our solder joint. Make some room. Okay, let's go to the next step. Step three, 510 ohm. And pull our meter back up. They do have color guides on these too that you can look up, but if you have a auto ranging multimeter, it just takes a second. 504 ohms. Okay, that's gonna be it. And this one goes on R20. Okay, you ready? Go ahead and pick it up. Boom. Best one yet. Okay, step four, install one thermistor at R17. Got to be very careful that we don't touch it to the other one. Boom, got it. Snip these off. Okay, next step we're going to do the diode. And we have to make sure that the black side of the diode lines up with the white marking on the PCB. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have a photo resistor on R15, which is actually from this direction. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, install dip 20 socket at U1. Okay, so that's gonna be this big daddy here. Oh, one of our pins is bent. Okay, and these have a divot right here that matches the divot that's on this PCB, so you wanna make sure you go in the right direction. All right. The goal here is to keep keep them all separated, so don't use too much. Step eight, do the dip eight IC socket at U2. You see our solder over here? Keep them all separated. Okay, so we need to do two ceramic capacitors at C4 and C5. And that's going to be these smaller ones that say 22 on them. It's going to be at C4 and C5. There's the first one. Install the two 104 ceramic capacitors at C1 and C2. Install the battery socket at BT1. Okay, this is a, looks like we're just going to flat solder it. Install the S8550 transistor at Q1. Install a DC power socket at DC. Okay, now we're going to install the crystal oscillator. And it's going to go on Y2, which is right next to one of these sockets. Okay, now we have our 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor at C3. Pay attention to distinguish between positive and negative. The shorter pin is negative and it goes into the white pad. So C3, white pad, shorter end. Install the passive buzzer at LS1. Pay attention to the installation direction. Okay, so it looks like the plus is going to go away from our little uh, power jack here, so it's going to go towards the top. Install two black buttons. Okay, now we're going to do the 4-bit digital tube at DS1, and that's going to come in from the other side. And we want our decimals to be away from the buttons. Hopefully we have enough. This is our last piece. What do you think so far? Think it looks good? Yeah. Okay. Install the 20 piece at U1 and make sure to follow the little divot. So there's a divot on the chip and there's another divot on the holder. You want to get it going the right way. Now we do the 8 piece clock chip. It has a divot, the socket has a divot, same thing. Now we do the battery. Okay, battery's in. We're going to tear off this film.
I think the only mistake so far that I can see is that when we soldered this capacitor right here in, it wasn't quite all the way down. And so now we have a slight bow here, but that's not too bad. All right, let me uh, get a power block and we'll plug this in. All right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, well it lights up, so that's a good sign. We did something right. Okay, I'm poking some buttons here. I do like how you can still see all the internal components that we had to solder in here. I think that makes it a pretty cool piece. Okay, we uh, looked at the instructions a little bit and uh, we were able to set the time and if you push this button, it'll tell you the date. Uh, it'll flash through some other stuff. We haven't set everything yet. If you hold these two buttons for more than three seconds, F1, and then we're gonna hold this button for three seconds, there's where we'd set the time. So if I hit this button, it would increment up, and then I hit the left button, and then it would go over to the minutes. And then I'm just gonna hold the left button because we've already set it. And then FU2 was the date, and we're not going to go through all of them now. You can look at the manual to see if everything else that you want to set. So what do you think about this thing? Is it pretty cool? Yeah. Did you learn something? Yeah. So you know a little bit how to solder now? Yeah. Hey, you were a big help today. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, see you next time.